So I got a woman that's, you know, asking a, a legitimate question about men and why men just not trying to get in relationships. Let's review it. Third of men, 33%, a little over a third of men between the ages of 18 and 29 are not only single, but they're not actively looking for a partner. So I've got a question for the men. So my comments are filled with guys saying we're done. We don't, we're not looking. We like our peace. I need some more talk from you guys. Tell me why you're done. Well, that's it, it, it's easy to kind of look at it. Look, look at the environment. The modern woman in the Western world isn't moving like a wife. She's moving like a city girl. They prioritize boss chicks. They prioritize, you know, the sexy reds, and they want to mimic sexy reds. Let me tell you something. You have educated women. Listen to me. You have educated women with doctorate degrees, some women who are doctors, nurses, lawyers, engineers who are women that will be at the Sexy Red concert and will want to be dressing and mimicking Sexy Red. Even though they have all this education, they want to mimic Sexy Red. They don't want to prioritize the skills that they need to build a family. Men see this. Men know that when women are listening to Sexy Red and mimicking her, those women aren't wife material. Women today view cooking as a curse. Women view gender roles as a curse today. You understand? So men traditionally want to get married. Men traditionally want a wife, children, etc. When he doesn't see that the women that's out there for him fit that mold, then he's going to say, I don't want a relationship. I don't want to get married with those women. You understand? Now, men that have a little bit more access, what they will end up doing is traveling overseas where feminism has not overran the place where gender roles is still, you know, expected there, you know, are, are women that want to be a wife, want to be a mother, those kind of women. Now I'm not saying that just cause you go to a different country, all women going to be that way. Cause no, not at all. Because even if you go to some African country, especially the ones that's a little bit more developed, like your Kenya's, your South Africa's, you'll find the same city girls in Kenya and South Africa like you will find in, in, in Houston or Atlanta, the same ones, literally. So don't think you're going to go to some other country and that you're not going to run into that. You can go to Thailand and Philippines if you want to. You're going to find city girls there too. Unfortunately, America has had a horrible influence throughout the world, unfortunately, when it comes to things like that. But it's a but. But just kind of like in America, if you go to the country, you may get your country girl still kind of got them ways. If you, you know, go to different countries and you get a girl is more so not in the city sometime, but more so toward the smaller areas, the village, you may get more tradition, right? It is, it is, it's that sort of thing. But a lot of guys today just, they, they don't see y'all as marriage material. Um, you haven't been reared to be wives. You haven't been even reared to be mothers. Um, and that's just really what it is. A lot of you, want to be a man and men, heterosexual men don't want to marry a man. Now, you know what I'm saying? Some of you out here are so manly that men question, even if you're trans, a trans woman, some of you are, are, are in it, this is what I'm saying. Some of you today got some, some deep voices that, I've never seen before. I don't know if it's what they putting in the food. I really believe it's what they putting in the food. That's changing women's voices to be more. Have y'all noticed that fellas? When I was a, a, a young boy, you know, teenager growing up, it was rare if a girl had a deep voice, but now you have so many girls with deep voices. Now a women with these deep voices. And this is like, like, in the time period where women had more feminine voices, a trans woman, you would spot them out unless they know how to mimic a woman's voice. And some of them know how to do that. Or some of them took the hormones to get a woman's voice. Right. But today you have trans women who still have a deep voice 
and still fooling people, some of them. Why? Because the biological women today are having deep voice. Just listen what I really, like I said, I really believe this in the food. That's why I say, please try to eat the best foods you can. Stay away from fast food, you know, because that stuff got so many chemicals in it. You know, it's like anything that looked like a, 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 a chapter of a book on the back of your food, don't eat it. They say that, that for the most part, you should have four at the max, five ingredients in your food. But try to go to places like Whole Foods or I think Sprouts is another place. Um, as many different places you can go to get some decent food. Because like I said, I really believe it's, it's the food. Oh, I really believe that. But men today is just not going to you know, marry y'all in the condition that you're in. You have to return back to the time of the grandmothers. To get that now, I'm not saying all women are that way in America. No, I'm not saying all, because of course there'll be ignorance to say all, but a good portion. If you continue this modern woman, city girl thing, you're not getting married.